in September, the time for the annual appraisals, at least a few companies are gearing up for the big activity. And in this video, I'm going to share a few tips on what you should do and what you should not do in your appraisal discussion. But before we jump into that, I would like to share my personal opinion about appraisals. Well, I feel that feedback, positive or constructive, should be shared throughout the year. We should not wait for one point in time to share the feedback. In my opinion, your appraisal discussion shouldn't last for more than 20 minutes. It should just be a recap of what you discussed throughout the year, right? In your one-on-ones, in your quarterly check-ins, you discuss about your performance, correct? Well, ideally you should. All right, anyways, let's get into the tips. Here are a few tips that will help you for your appraisal discussion. Tip number one, very important, your self-assessment. Be very true to your self-assessment. I know everyone feels that they have done the best and they deserve a four rating or a five rating. But you should be aware, ratings don't work that way. Ratings are based on your performance as measured against your goals. It is not based on feelings, it is not based on emotions, right? What you have done throughout the year will decide what rating you should get. So be clear about the data. Talking about data brings us to tip number two. Document your performance data throughout the year so that you don't have to rack your brains during the appraisal time. And if you're not doing that, here's a easy trick for you. Just keep a simple Excel sheet, plug in all the highlights, misses, challenges, learnings, month on month. This will help you prepare better for your appraisal discussion. When I say prepare better, this will keep your data handy with you, right? When you have the discussion. So all those, uh, you know, appreciations that you get from the clients, your feedback, any learnings you've done, any trainings you've done for new hires, document that. And also, the feedback that you've received from the previous appraisal. Have you worked on it? What are the steps you've taken to progress? Make a note of all that. This will help. Tip number three, have an open mindset for the discussion. Prepare for a conversation which is healthy and productive. Don't go with a preset mind expecting something. Once your manager is sharing the feedback with you, listen to the manager. Be calm. Don't react. If he or she says something which you don't agree on, don't respond immediately. Ask for questions clarifying that feedback, right? You can share data which supports your point of view. Do not react, control your emotions, control your body language. Accept the feedback, listen to the feedback. Tip number four, accept the rating. Keep in mind that these ratings were decided weeks ago. It's not an easy process for the manager to plug in ratings for the entire team, to look at each individual from the team who's done what throughout the year. It's a Herculean task. And to put the team in buckets and this rating would then decide the merit increase. It's not an easy task. And trust me, it keeps going back and forth a lot before it is finalized and closed. So don't think if you argue with your manager, the rating will change. Or you will say, I don't accept the rating, I will resign, and the manager will go and change the rating. Don't do that. Never do that in your appraisal discussion. Majority would be to say that I was expecting a better rating based on what performance I had, but I trust you. That would be appreciated by your manager. Tip number five. This is for first timers. All the new hires who are having their first appraisal discussions. Go into the discussion with zero expectations. 
because most of the time most of the review period you would have been in training or on the job training learning understanding there wouldn't be much of contribution that you would have uh, you know brought to the team so my suggestion would be to just go as taking an experience of the appraisal discussion a good thing would be to ask your manager on what are the things that you should focus on what are the certifications learnings additional responsibilities that you can look at how can you grow in the organization is what the discussion can be around so don't expect a great rating just go for the feedback that your manager gives you and lastly a bonus tip this is a great opportunity for you to share feedback with your manager tell him or her what you like about their leadership style what you would want them to do more they would really appreciate this and this would also encourage a healthy open environment hope you liked the video and i hope that you found it useful please share it with people who need it thank you so much for watching